Blue is continuing her casual stroll around her famous human's home. I still have no idea who she belongs to, but that won't be the case for too much longer. Off we go again, languidly, upstairs. Nice carpet, lots of glass. That's it, Blue. Clear the way. Nice glass table there, too, set into the window bay. And, oh, and more stairs. Well, whoever lives here must be fit as a fiddle. I'm beginning to understand your somnolent disposition, Blue. You don't move fast, do you? Hmm? Finally, we reach our destination. The master bedroom. With a well-positioned eye mask. But Blue's not interested in sleeping. She's found her human slippers. Definitely female. That's it. Have a good sniff. And a chew. You catch your breath there, and we'll use this moment for a sneaky peek at this room. So, again, a colour scheme dominated by shades of grey. Not quite 50, but close enough. There's a pop of colour from the dresses and dancing shoes by the closet. I wonder who might wear them. I'm seeing a pattern here. Eat, sleep, sniff, repeat. But if you don't mind, Blue, I, I'm more interested in the view. Wooden, white, Venetian blinds offering comforting shade from the sun. A comfy sofa and a flat screen TV. The modern version of a Polaroid camera. And those access all area key fobs, like the sort you get backstage at pop concerts or festivals. Is your human a... Oh, was that the doorbell? Blue's off with an incongruous burst of energy. Has she heard her human? Blue! Definitely a female voice. This is the quickest I've seen you move, Blue. Hey! <laughs> it's Louise Redknapp. Have you been looking after the house? In a very slow-moving way, yes. I'm Louise Redknapp, and I'm well known for... Originally music, West End, uh, TV, but music is what I really love to do. This is Blue, my Sharpe. She's been with me since she was a tiny puppy. They're incredible guard dogs, actually. She's always on patrol. Today's really hot, so when it, she's been a bit lazy, but um, she kind of just hovers around in the garden and, like, patrols the, the whole area. And that's what they were bred to do. They were bred to look after the nurseries in China. So I think that's where their protective nature comes from. Yes. Blue, you're a very good companion. She's not really that governed by food, but she likes a nice spot. She doesn't like to be in a dog's bed. She likes to sit on the sofa, sit on the chair. I think she possibly thinks she's human. I don't think she thinks she's a dog at all. Yes, Blue is definitely one of the family. I've lived in this house for about a year, and I wanted something that I felt really secure in and something that was easy to get about. We have a lovely garden, and there's great walks for the dogs, but I'm really near central London, so it's perfect. I have to say, Louise's cool choice of decor does little to give her away. I think my dogs are most probably what would give me away. I mean, my dogs appear on my Instagram and on my social media a lot. Um, are sort of well known for working with lots of dog charities. So I feel like my dogs would be the ones that would give me away more than anything in the house. <laughs>